Tulsa's police chief just did an interview with NPR where he said that we should be willing, meaning you and I, should be willing to give up our Second Amendment rights for more safety. I am a Second Amendment guy. I, I own guns, of course, um, but I'm okay giving up some of that, that freedom, right? Uh, we had to give up some of that freedom after 9-11. And I find it ironic that every single time we talk about gun control or giving up our freedoms, it's always at the bequest of somebody who works in government. The same people who are not going to have to give up the very freedoms that they're telling us we need to give up. He says that we should have more gun control and that we should have waiting periods and a 9-11 response to gun violence in this country. And I'm like, you're asking for more gun control laws and for us to give up freedoms for gun control laws that don't work. So I'm trying to understand here, is the goal safety or is the goal control? Because of course these gun control laws will give you more control over us, but it doesn't actually make us safe because you have tons of states that have these same gun control laws and none of those states are any safer. One of the things he's critical of is constitutional carry. Police chiefs and sheriffs are calling for stricter gun laws. The police chief of Tulsa says the nation's response to gun violence needs to be transformed. Franklin says permitless carry has led to more guns being stolen from cars. He wants untraceable ghost guns and straw purchasing tightly regulated. And he isn't opposed to a waiting period before buying assault rifles. He says the country should respond to gun violence the same way it responded with security changes after 9-11. Law enforcement, uh, we are the experts. We're the subject matter experts at protecting America, right? Protecting our cities. And, you know, we should be utilizing that in that manner. So I am charged with protecting this community. And if there are better ways of protecting it, I think we should be looking at those better ways to protect it. I want you to be critical of constitutional carry. Criminals have been constitutionally caring since day one. It's only us peons like me and you and the rest of people watching this video who have to go out, get a concealed carry license and go through all this process in order to carry a firearm while criminals continue to carry firearms regardless. So I don't understand where the critique is coming from. Are you worried about good people carrying firearms? Because all the bad people are already carrying those same firearms. So how's getting rid of constitutional carry gonna make people any more safer? Then he wants to add waiting periods. I've never understood this concept of waiting periods. I think it's a fantasy because in, in some people's minds they think, oh, well, if we give people time to cool off before they decide to go and buy a gun to go do something bad, they may rethink it. This is nonsense. I can tell you one thing though, it will probably get people killed but not the people you're thinking about. You're thinking about maybe stopping criminals when in reality what it does is it stops good people from getting firearms to protect themselves. I constantly bring up the story of Carol Bone, a woman who submitted to get a permit in order to purchase a firearm to protect herself against her crazy ex-husband. And guess what happened? Because they took their time, had a waiting period before she can get that license, her husband ended up killing her before she could have a firearm to protect herself. Husband stabbed her to death on her own driveway. So this idea that a waiting period is gonna do anything to make us safer is a fantasy. Criminals don't buy their guns legally. They buy them illegally. So a waiting period is not going to stop a criminal from getting firearms. And if the vast majority of criminals are getting their guns illegally on the streets, why would a law requiring good people who are not criminals who go into gun stores to buy a firearm and subject themselves to background checks gonna stop criminals from getting guns? Like they don't think these things through or they do. And they coax it under the idea of safety when in reality, it's about control. It's control, control, control. He is the government. He is a police chief. So of course his main concern is control. It's about controlling the populace, not about keeping the populace safe. Crazy thing is, he actually says that police are the experts at protecting Americans, yet we can't depend on police to get there in time to keep us safe. I know there are police out there who do their best to get to us whenever we're in danger, but in reality, it takes what, five to 10 minutes for a police officer to get to your house if you have a home invasion? So who's in the best position to protect ourselves at that point? Is it the police? No, it's you. It's you with a firearm giving you the ability to protect yourself in that regard. So I don't understand this idea and this notion that somehow the police are the experts at protection, but yet we can't rely on them to protect us. At the end of the day, it's always the same people who are telling us we need to give up our two-way rights who are not gonna have to give up their two-way rights. He's a police chief. He's never gonna have to give up his firearm. He can carry his gun anywhere he wants. I can't. He can literally go anywhere with a firearm. I can't. But yet he's the same guy trying to tell me I need to give up some freedoms. Some freedoms for what? Gun control laws that have been established over and over and again not to work? How long have we been doing this gun control nonsense talk? We've been doing it for decades, and yet nothing has changed. So clearly, if you're, taught, if you're trying to do something different, stop doing the same thing. Because he says, oh, we want to do something different. We should approach it from a different perspective. And as the saying goes, those who are willing to give up essential liberties to purchase temporary safety, 
deserve neither liberty nor safety. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.